Hello there, this is Nikki from the Pigeon Letters Design Team, and today I'm gonna to show you how to paint, and then we're going to use ink to sketch a lemon cart. So a lemon cart you might see in Italy or Medi the Mediterranean, maybe even in Mexico. Um, they're just really cute. I found this on Pinterest and thought it would be such a cute thing to sketch up, and it really reminded me of summer. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to grab our watercolor paper and a pencil, and we're just going to sketch a cart out. So we're gonna start with a roof, and it's kind of like a triangle shape. It's going to be slightly turned to the left, so we're going to make the left-hand side a little longer, and then have it kind of come out like this, so this is the other side of it. Then we have these posts right here. And we have a little awning that comes out. So just giving it a little angle here and then also an angle here. So we have the awning and then we have this kind of scalloped edge of that shade there. We're gonna have another post right here. Want it to be kind of square for the cart. And then we're going to stop it about here, but make this line really light because we're going to be filling it with lemons. And then on this side, actually come down a little bit. Same thing. We're gonna have a post back here and then the same awning. It's gonna look a little smaller since it's on the back side, or sorry, on the side that is not in the front. There we go. And make, so the line would be going backwards because this is the side. So it's kind of at an angle similar to if you were drawing a cube like that and we're going to make some c curves because we're going to put a bunch of lemons back here and don't feel like you need to do a ton of details with the pencil because we're going to be coming in after the watercolor and using a black ink pen we'll be able to add a lot of those details so tons of lemons here. There's actually a little part of the cart that's going to come out like a little basket, almost more like a box, I guess. So again, at an angle, having it come out. We're just lightly sketching and then we're going to put some little wood bars in here I don't know would you call them wood bars something along those lines <laughs> and a little wheel here one back here and then one you know what I don't like those wheels we're gonna leave the wheels off just people can imagine what's there and then again, there's going to be a ton of lemons in here. So this is all going to be yellow. And there's some lemons hanging up here. We're just making a oval shape, but kind of pointed for the lemons. And then make some leaves. I've never been to Italy before, but this seems amazing like such a pretty sight to see on this side of the road. <laughs> There's actually, um, the post continues right here. Didn't get that before. Okay, and we can put in more finer details once we have the watercolor paint down and we're using the ink, but we do wanna put, there's these little stripes here on the sorry there's stripes on the awning so we're gonna put those in really quick 
And since this is at an angle, but then this comes down straight, you want to keep these <clears throat> lines at an angle. And then this one is going in the opposite way. So these lines or stripes will be going in the opposite direction. Okay. This is looking funky to me. Maybe let's just, we'll put it like so it's on stilts basically. So put something back here that is on top of, otherwise it looks like what the heck is going on here. Okay, so now that we have our base down, we're going to grab our watercolor palette and we're going to start painting. Now, I made my lines pretty dark here, but if you guys, I definitely recommend having your lines be a little bit lighter so that, you know, you're not seeing a bunch of pencil lines through your watercolor. You can use a gummy racer and press down and pull up. Um, but I'm going to keep mine dark just so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to mix up a brown color. I'm using these awesome brushes from the Pigeon Letters. I love them so much. They're cruelty free, which I love because I love animals. And um, I'm using a size six, and I'm also probably going to use a size four and a size one because I need that details brush. So right now I'm mixing up a brown color because we want to make the roof. Anything that's wood is going to be brown in this painting. And just adding in a little tan, yellow orchid, sorry, orchid, orchard. <laughs> okay, so I have my brownish color. And I am just, we're not doing a ton of layering here. We're just painting basically kind of like fill in the colors. You know those books that are like paint this brown, paint this blue. Kind of like that. We're not worrying about too much detail. So I'm just going over this. I have a good amount of water on my brush because we're going to be using the ink to kind of define more details. But I also think it's fun if you do add in some variation in here. So if it's just flat, it might look a little bit boring. So add in, maybe just poke in some darker color over here. And where this side maybe would be more shaded because the sun's coming in at this angle. So you could add in more saturated pigment over here. Now, since this is wet, we don't want to go right here. It's going to start bleeding. I'm okay with it bleeding a little bit, but we don't want it to bleed too much. Now, these posts are white. So like I like to say, if you've ever followed one of my tutorials before, nothing is 100% white. There's always some little bit of color in it. So what I'm gonna do is just add a very slight kind of grayish, um, kind of grayish brown, really un just filled with water. And I'm gonna paint those in that tone because we're gonna be able to define this more when we have the um, pen. And it's okay if you get a little bleeding here. But I do wanna give it some, some color, something different than the paper. So painting all these, and then same thing here. Oops, not that though. <laughs> So these little bars are going to be white. So we're actually gonna paint around them because everything behind them is going to be the lemons so we can make that yellow. There is one more piece of wood here. And then this, and this right here. And that, okay. Now I'm gonna let this dry just for a second, speed it up a bit, because if I start painting the blue, all this brown is gonna bleed into it and we don't really want that. Oh, you know, something that we could actually do really quick 
is add a slight shadow onto these posts. So remember I said the sun was coming in from the left-hand side, so our shadow would be on the right-hand side. So I'm going to grab that same color and add just a little bit of black to it. And then I'm just lightly touching this edge and it will bleed for me since that's actually a little bit too dark. So I'm going to rinse off my brush. I have a clean, wet brush that I'm just pulling up the pigment with. Okay, so let's go back again and make sure it's really diluted. I'm just adding in, lightly tapping to add in that shadow. I'm sorry, lightly brushing. And then you can add more water to kind of blend it in if it looks a little too, too dark for you. Same thing over here. And something else that we can do is this side would probably be a little more shaded. So darkening this color just a bit. I have plenty of water on my brush. There we go. Okay, we have to let this dry really quick. I'm gonna fast forward and then we're gonna come back and paint the other items. Okay, now we're going to paint the lemons and I'm just mixing up a yellow. We're going to want to add a little variation to our lemons. So I recommend, not sure how many different color yellows you have or different kinds of yellows you have, but I'm gonna add in just a little bit of this Indian yellow on the side so I can play with the variation a little bit. Okay, rinsing off my brush. Then picking up that lighter yellow and we can be messy about this because we are going to give more definition when we bring out that pen. Maybe poke in a little bit darker colors here and there just to make it interesting. We are going to add some green for leaves, but we're going to wait a second because it's pretty wet right now. And same thing here. Just throwing in all those lemons. And we have to remember that there's going to be lemons between all these little bars. So you might want to grab a smaller brush. I'm going to grab my size two. And I am just painting yellow between these. I'm not too concerned with details. Just filling in color. Maybe some of them I do a little more saturated, some with more water. This style of painting and sketching is meant to be really loose and kind of quick. But if you wanna take your time, take your time. There's no pressure, this is fun. It's not supposed to be stressful. <laughs> and we have some lemons back here. They're just everywhere. Okay. Now looking at this, I might grab a little bit more of that Indian yellow color and just maybe make poke it in a little here and there maybe where I would assume there would be some shadows. We don't want it to look too orange because then it's gonna look like there's oranges in this cart. So keep it, keep it yellowish. I'm just adding in where there might be some shadows, a little darker hue of yellow, maybe up here. Okay. Next up, we are going to paint this awning. And for this, I want you to grab a pretty bright blue color. 
if you had it. You could also make it red if you if you want it to be red. I just love the contrast of blue and yellow though. I think it's like a really happy contrast. Okay, I like this color. I'm going to grab my size two brush and again, just filling in those lines and having them come down here. Maybe some of them are a little more saturated than other ones, but you wanna keep them in that same blue family because you don't want it to be too different. And I can see that I have yellow on my brush. So that's why I'm starting to get like a green color and I, or more like aqua and I don't want that. So I had to wash off my brush again. The goal is to try to keep these evenly spaced because this is fabric and it's a pattern. So technically it would be that way if you can swing it. Mine obviously is not a perfect pattern, but that's okay. Okay, so we got this side done. Make sure it's coming all the way out there. And then we have to go on to this side. So pretty. It's really gonna come alive when we add the ink. I typically paint in a realistic style, but I have recently been painting in this style because it's, it's just quicker. And if I wanna just do, you know, it's just something fun. I, I like that, this style because I'm able to do something a lot faster than my typical painting style it takes me hours because I do realistic. Now we're gonna grab a green and a pretty yellowy green because we're gonna make these leaves and we're just lightly putting in dots of green. It's okay if it bleeds a little bit, um, but if you have a ton of water here, it's gonna bleed everywhere and you don't want it to bleed everywhere. So this should be, it's okay if it's a little bit wet and it bleeds a little bit, but it shouldn't be bleeding everywhere. That will be too much. Too much water. If it is doing that, just take your time and let it dry. I'm just poking in some leaves here. Maybe there's some down here as well. Rinse off your brush, get it a little bit more water in some places so it's not as saturated. Maybe over here. Doo, doo, doo. Okay. All right, and now we're, we're ready to add in our pen. Now we do need this to dry first because you can tear your paper because the tip of this is very sharp. But I am using an archival pen from the Pigeon Letters and it's waterproof. So once this dries, I can draw over it and then I can actually paint on top of it if I want to. But if you don't have an archival pen, don't paint over it after you're done. Um, we're not going to be painting it over it in this tutorial, but you can in the future if you want. So we're gonna let this dry and then we're com coming back with our pen. Now it's all dry, so we're gonna come back with our pen and we are going to add in all those little details. So this is up to you, but you can follow along with me if you'd like. So we have the roof here and you wanna definitely outline everything that we painted. But then I'm also gonna add in some more details. There's, you know, some wood slats here. Same thing over here. I'm using a size one um, pen, but you could use something a little bit thicker if you want. And in my honest opinion, you can't really mess this up. It's, it's just like a sketch, you know? And I think it looks cool no matter what you do. So I'm coming in here and I'm just outlining all of these stripes. 
And you can either do really nice lines or you can kind of do these little tiny lines if you want it to look more sketchy, kind of like this motion. I'm gonna keep it pretty, pretty straight. And then adding in the little scalloped edges. And then a line here to show where it kind of folds over. And in these poles, since they're wood, you could put maybe little lines, veins of the wood, some knots. And then our lemons, we're gonna make our leaves. So anywhere you see green, just go ahead and do a little leaf shape, maybe with a couple little veins in the leaves. You don't have to get super detailed, but you can get as detailed as you want to get. I just love this style, it's so fun. <laughs> Got a leaf up here. Just let yourself loose and there's no messing up. This is just for fun and creativity. Then we got all these lemons down here. We got some leaves. So I'm just making like C curves because these would be all on top of each other. And then every once in a while, I'll do the bottom of a lemon so you kind of can see what's going on in here. And then we have some green areas, so I'm going to put leaves there. All these lemons just piled up on themselves. I don't know about you guys, but I eat so many lemons. I like them on everything. I love lemon water in the morning. I love them on my fruit with salt. I know I'm such a weirdo. <laughs> My mom taught me that when I was little, and I've always done that. Don't forget to make your leaves every time you see green. And now we're going to come down here, and we're going to outline this little box. So we have a wood plank here. Wood down here. And then we have these little bars that we wanted to keep white. It's okay if there's some paint in there. And we're going to make some minor details down here because there's lemons showing through and leaves. And anywhere you feel that there should be an extra shadow, just add an extra line. If our lighting's coming in from this side, then there would be an extra shadow over here. And maybe an extra shadow underneath here, and here, and here. shadow over here doing the little awning little scalloped edges I'm thinking that this is looking really cool I hope you guys feel the same way about yours now I'm going to put some little lines in here because this would probably have lines from the wood. Maybe add in that here. And there you have it. Our little lemon cart or lemon stand, whatever you want to call it. Don't forget to sign your work. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you're interested in seeing more of me, you can follow me at Lavender and C on Instagram. I also have several Skillshare classes and I have a YouTube channel as well where I teach watercolor painting. Have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching.